These quotes from the CEO of Taglet Birthright will shock you. Welcome back to day five of our series, Boycott Birthright and Other Free Trips to Israel, where we've been following the birthright trip going on right now and exposing the propaganda behind each day. I can't believe it's day five and we're already halfway through this series, but I feel like we're kind of becoming pros at this now, and if we see Israeli propaganda, we'll at least know something is wrong. You guys know the drill by now. What we do is we see what birthright goers are up to today by looking at the itinerary from the Taglet Birthright website, and then we kind of expose the propaganda behind it by seeing what they left out, what they lied about, talking about the Palestinian experience in general. And we will do that really quickly in just a sec, but I wanted to use this halfway point as a reminder that birthright is a strategic tool that Israel uses in order to further its political interests. And what better way to relay that to you than by quotes from the CEO of Taglet Birthright himself, Gidi Mark. But first, let's do a speed round of today's itinerary. I want to talk about the picture they used. It's a dish called shakshuka, and shakshuka is like hummus in that it's one of those dishes that Israel really tries to claim as its own. But let's take a step back and think about it for a second here. If you settled in Israel in 1948 from, say, like anywhere in Europe, you couldn't have invented a dish that Palestinians have been eating for generations. But I think that one's obvious, so let's just move on. Next, we see that birthright goers are given the opportunity to peruse Jerusalem, and they say the choice is yours. If you've seen yesterday's video, then you know that this is kind of ironic because Palestinians don't have the same choice. And if you haven't seen it, go check it out to learn about the movement restrictions on Palestinians. Okay, finally, I just want to point out how in this last sentence, they mentioned that this street has some of the best shawarma, falafel, and pizza in all of Israel. And I just think it's funny that they had to follow up shawarma and falafel with pizza, because that's probably what people going on birthright are more used to eating. But that's just a joke, guys, okay? I can have a little fun with this. Let's get into the real topic of this video, and it's the quotes by this man here, Gidi Mark. He's the CEO of Birthright Israel. So something that I see a lot is people wanting to take free trips to Israel because they want to travel and traveling is expensive and they think that they won't fall for the propaganda and, you know, they say free Palestine, um, but they think that they can separate themselves from the harm of birthright. But I'm here to tell you guys that that is not possible because birthright is built into the structure of the colonization of Palestine. And when I show you these quotes, it's going to make it really clear. This is the article I'm going to be pulling these quotes from in case you want to check it out. I'm including all the full quotes here and I encourage you to read them in their entirety so that you can see how blatant the players in the occupation of Palestine are in their goal. And talking about the itinerary, he says, making an itinerary that provides a strategic, long-term and effective response to the challenges of anti-Semitic and anti-Israel attacks. When talking about birthright tours, he says that they're one of the most significant tools for systemically confronting anti-Semitic organizations, BDS supporters and others which work to slander Israel. And talking about people who go on birthright, he says, these youths return to their countries as impassioned and important ambassadors for Israel. He talks about it being a pivotal point in their lives and that they have become focal points for the support of Israel. The goal of birthright from the mouth of the CEO is to create lifetime ambassadors for Israel in every space possible to combat anti-Israel slander. The goal of birthright is to manipulate those that go on the trip to become lifetime defenders of the apartheid state of Israel and to shut down Palestinians organizing for their liberation. One of the targets for these ambassadors are BDS supporters. We see this impact now with anti-BDS legislation being passed in some states, including Arkansas. All this is to say that birthright doesn't just add to the occupation of Palestine, but rather it was born out of that colonial structure and therefore creates and maintains the structures that perpetuate it. So you as an individual can't go on birthright and separate yourself from the structural harm that it causes. And that's why the only thing to do is to boycott birthright and all free trips to Israel. Support BDS and Palestinian liberation by simply refusing to go on the trip. And of course, follow along the series. We still have five more days of the birthright trip to go. And on June 15th at 6.30 p.m. Central, we're going to have a webinar on the harmful effects of birthright if you're curious to learn more.